What's up everyone, ZDub here and thank you for stopping by and checking out my first impression review of Minecraft Dungeons released for all major platforms today. This game is also released on Xbox Game Pass for only 5 bucks for a month which is an absolute steal to play this release on day one. If you're at all curious about it, it's worth checking it out at that price point for sure. Now if this is your first time stopping by for one of my reviews, let me start by saying this. All of my game reviews are done from a critically honest perspective. I feel like you should not have to force yourself or convince yourself to have fun with something. So if you're like me and you're looking for the best experiences out there, ones that are truly worthy of your time and money, you've come to the right place. So if you haven't subscribed already, make sure you do so you don't miss out on any future videos and hit that button and bell and you'll be up to date with all my content. Now let's get into this. Minecraft Dungeons. Can Microsoft bring a whole new audience to the action RPG genre? I think they very well can, and they've done just that in this release. This is an absolute charming gem of a game that has tons of replay and fun packed in here. But this is not for the hardcore action RPG gamer. If that's you, and you're looking for a Diablo replacement, or something with quite a bit more substance, this is not for you. This title is super shallow. If you got children or a significant other or friend you're trying to ease into this genre and enjoy some fun couch or online co-op, this title is definitely for you. Minecraft Dungeons is a perfect introduction to dungeon crawling, and it does a great job of hand-holding each step of the way. From a perfectly crafted tutorial level, simplified stats and upgrade paths, combined with simplistic yet super fun combat, this is a fantastic title for someone looking to get their feet wet with what it feels like to upgrade and customize gear, kill a ton of enemies, and of course, hunt for loot. Now one unfortunate item here that I have to mention is there's no character classes like typical games of this type. I understand why that choice was made, and this is not looking to go that deep with class synergy in the co-op, but I feel they should have done a bit more in that aspect and this was a little bit of a miss. Who knows, maybe that's planned for a release in the future? I totally think they could have pulled it off with simple character types like tanks, healers, and magic users. Having said all that, the presentation here is exactly what you would expect from Minecraft. Beautiful pixeled rendered art style with that Minecraft charm everyone has come to love. The nice thing as well about this is that it should run on most machines if you're planning to play this on PC. The footage shown here is running at the highest settings on PC, and it's running like butter. The interface and controls are terrific for beginners, and the depth offered here is just enough for inexperienced players to get an idea and understand which items are better than others, what upgrades will do what, so once again it's tailored to newcomers to the genre so it's handled perfectly for that. Now there's so much to love in this title. There's tons of loot and upgrades, and a nice difficulty scale that you can tweak for each level to grind for better and better loot and upgrades. I've enjoyed every minute I've spent with it thus far. And as far as replay and fun, rest assured, if you're planning on playing this title, it's super fun. It's got tons of replay beyond the initial 6-8 to eight hour campaign due to the scaling difficulty, procedurally generated levels, and the future content releases planned. There's already a section of the map teasing that next bit of content. Now the gameplay loop here is very fun. It does not feel repetitive to me at all yet. It's nothing we haven't seen before, but it's really done well. You do a mission, you get gems, find loot, come to camp, manage your inventory, salvage items, purchase gear or artifacts, and get stronger and stronger to go into harder areas. It's quite enjoyable. Now currently I'm playing this with my son, daughter, and wife, and it's a fantastic experience. It's such an approachable game for the entire family. In closing, if you're looking for a deep RPG title and not just a casual dungeon crawler, you should look elsewhere. But if you're looking for something light and fun to play with newcomers, or even on your own, this is a great title. You can't go wrong with this as there is hours of pure fun and memories packed in here which can be had for 5 bucks per install right through Game Pass. If you played this and you have anything to say about it, let me know in the comments, I'd love to hear it. So thanks for stopping by and watching, and if you enjoyed this and you're interested in honest reviews focusing on whether a game is pure fun or not, or whether a game will wow you, subscribe so you don't miss out on any future gaming content. Well I gotta get back to grinding for some more loot, and I'll see you next time. This is Z-Dub, out.